Okay, the first solve is a 501, and I did white cross. So I saw like this is one move off, and then these two are opposite. Look at that. And I'm tracking this pair, because it's one move and it stays there. And I'm also going to be tracking this and this. So if I do L, D prime, R prime, F, you see this moved here, and then this, after aligning the cross, will be here. And a better solution could have been to sledge. And then when I insert this, this will also be a three mover. But I didn't see that. I just saw that this requires a rotation and this would do, so I did a YD prime. And I solved that in the back. And then I solved this in the back as well. And then right into this pair. And then I rotate, and then solve these two. And then for this ZBL, I do a different algorithm than most. I think most people do like this algorithm. But I do the like U prime, and then this like soon kind of, and then this C wall. And then U prime AOF, that was 53 moves, so around 10.5 TPS. Okay, the second scramble, I do white again, and in this case, the scramble looks pretty bad, but I find a good solution. So, I see this little block, and that's like the only, like, decent looking thing on this scramble. So, I can do three moves, R prime F L, and I insert like this square, kind of, and then the edge to that is here. So this looks bad, but just do a D prime here, and then R U R prime F to insert this, and then this will perfectly set up this to be R two, and then D prime will align my my X cross. But before the D prime, I saw this pair, I inspected it, and then Y U prime to avoid the rotation, and then I can insert that. And then you have this pair in the back, because this is really bad, so I'm going to do the other pair and make this better. So I do this, insert in the back, and then I have this pair. So I can do like a special little algorithm here, and it actually will make this not a dot case, which is also good. So like that, faster. U2, and I see this oil, and it just looks like a pillow skip, because like this block and this pattern and stuff. And this, U prime AOF. That was 38 moves in 3.24, so 11.7 TPS. Okay, so number four, this was a 3.58, and it was a white X cross again, with this edge in this corner. So I can do two moves to insert this and this. So I hold it like this, do like D prime and like a white L, and then I do D2 R prime, and I have this corner solved, this edge solved. So to preserve this corner, and also take this pair out, you do R prime, R prime F2 R, D2, have the X cross on the back, and then I can insert, the, insert that. And now I just see this, so I immediately do that. And then we have this case, so I do this algorithm. R prime F prime, R U, R U prime R prime F. And then I see we already have blocks everywhere, and it looks like a PLL skip, like these are all matching. So I do the algorithm, and you prime AUF. So that was 38 moves, in, so it's around 10.6 TPS. All right, last solve. This scramble, it just looks easy. It's a three move white cross, so I inspect the entire F12 actually, uh, which is only possible because of this solved edge, basically, and that these are gonna be very easy, as you will see. So three moves, R prime, D prime, R, and then I have this pair and this pair. So when I insert this into the back, it'll set this up, and then I inspect it to here, so this edge stayed in place, and I saw that this corner would be here. And I also saw that this edge would be here. So to pseudo-slot, I have to solve this corner, and you do that with double sexy move. 
But if I do that, this is stuck in here, and this is here, so it's a really bad pair. So instead, I do a U first, and then U double sexy. And then I have this much better case, and I do a sledgehammer for edges, and it gives me a soon. And then I see this J perm, which I do it like that. 